So um, uh, let's just jump straight into this. So suppose you have a collection of documents, right? So these are our documents, um, and we're going to build a little index out of them. So uh, these are quite repetitive, and these are all the all the terms that are going that we're going to uh, index, right? So uh, the terms are going to serve as the heads for our lists, right? This is going to be our indexing units. We're going to store the positional, the occurrence information of each one of those terms. So um, how we're going to do that? First, uh, in the previous lectures, we talked about representing documents as vectors, right? So uh, documents D1, it has two occurrences of the word he, it has uh, two occurrences of the word likes, it has one occurrence on wink, one occurrence of drink, so that's its uh, vector, right? Two for he, one for drink, zero for ink, and so on. So you've seen that before. Hopefully, it's really, really, um, uh, really straightforward. And we can do the rest, uh, the same for the rest of the documents in our little collection. <clears throat> so uh, now, once you think of it this way, the collection of documents is nothing but a matrix, right? Each document is just a vector, a row vector, and the whole collection is just a matrix. Now, what are inverted indices? They're basically the columns of that matrix. Right? So you can think of indexing as transpose of a matrix. So uh, what does it mean? You basically look at a column, and the column tells you for each word in which documents did it occur and how many times. Right? Really straightforward. So the word he occurred in every document. It occurred twice in the first document, right? There's and there. Uh, and it occurred once in every um, other document. Right? Some other words like uh, thing, they only occurred in one document, so this is this vector is mostly zeros, with the exception of D3. And there it has a one because it occurred one time. Okay. So now the individual cells in the matrix are usually called posts. That's just the terminology for them, so that's a post. Uh, non, uh, the zero posts don't exist, and we'll talk about that on the next slide. Um, the, these column vectors are called inverted lists. Right? And if you want to think of them as vectors, they are vectors. Right? Uh, each vector represents a term, and the coordinates in this case are the documents. Right? So the word thing has zero across all coordinates except one on coordinate D3. So you can think of them as either vectors or, um, or lists, whatever way. 